get to the new Gas is closing. <laughs> Yo, 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 what is up, 21 gang? I know it's been a minute unless you follow me on Twitch, guys. We did have a secret stream yesterday. So, guys, we'll get into that later in the video. But I did want to break down the aim assist, guys. Try to help you out. A lot of people have been asking me, how do you get the best aim assist, whether it be with any of these game packs or any of these scripts. I'm going to break it down, jump into a game, kind of show you what you're changing and what you need to know. So, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, click 21. Before we jump into the video, guys, as you all know, we do have a Patreon if you need help. If you want access to the Rebirth Rampage scripts, or the Kill Shot scripts, or the Demon Time scripts, or if you just want to support us, or if you need that one-on-one -on -one help, guys, make sure you join up on the Patreon. There's been just absolutely an insane amount of people joining lately, and I can't thank you guys enough. We're trying to get to everybody. The amount of messages we get now is absolutely incredible. And of course, guys, make sure you guys check out NordVPN. If you're looking for a VPN, you can connect to any server across the country or into different countries of itself, guys, if you want to pop past some of that skill-based matchmaking. And also, if you just want to protect yourself, guys, I know a lot of people are using this for different things, whether it be gambling or just getting easier lobbies or just get that protection, guys. A lot of people are using VPNs in 2022. I'd highly, highly recommend it. And they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you're interested, make sure you guys check it out. Also, guys, make sure you follow my Twitch. We did a secret stream yesterday. I kind of posted in Discord. I don't know if I pinged everybody, though, right before. We were just kind of doing a chill stream. We're waiting on the new graphics card to get in, and we'll start doing more Warzone streams. But we're going to be doing streams for the Patreon, private streams like that. And then, of course, we're just going to do some chill streams. Once we hit 100 followers on our Twitch channel, we're going to go ahead and give away another Hex controller, guys. So make sure you guys go and follow my Twitch, twitch.tv slash 21cosmic. So go check that out as well. It was a pretty chill stream. We just did a little fall, guys. You know, just watch a couple videos, play some roulette, stuff like that. So go check out my Twitch if you haven't already. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this video. See if we can get you the best aim assist that you want with the Cronus because this is the number one problem we see. A lot of people come up to us and they complain about, you know, hey, I'm not getting that aim assist that I want. So we're going to break down, you know, in the game itself, kind of what you're looking for and what you need to change when these certain scenarios happen. All right, guys. So the first thing you need to know is what you're actually changing when it comes to the scripts. Now, most of the time you're changing your radius, your speed, or your steps, which is pretty much the same thing. And then, of course, the fire strength and the fire rate and things like that. So I'm going to kind of break this down, what you need to change, what scenarios, all that good stuff. You know, I'll kind of go uh, into a part of a map to kind of show you guys, you know, what you're actually experiencing and what you might need to change. Now, the headshot damage and trackers, we're not going to get into all that. Basically, the headshot damage and all that is just changing your actual shape. It's not really giving you that extra headshot aim assist. There's no such thing. So the reason I don't want to get into the senses and the headshots and stuff like that is basically just because... When it comes to the Cronus, guys, there's really no such thing as a getting extra headshot damage. All it's really doing is changing the shape of your aim assist. Now, if any of those script authors, anybody can tell me anything different, I would love to hear from them. But that's one thing, too, that you have to pay attention to, guys. What the Cronus does of itself, right? What does the Cronus actually do? Well, it gives you stronger aim assist, right? And for those people that are new here to the channel, guys, we'll break down what aim assist is. Aim assist basically gives you that circular motion. You know, anytime you're, you know, aiming at a target, it's kind of like a hit scan where you're just searching within that target. And then once it finds it, it'll kind of, you know, move over and guide you to that target. So in theory, what the Cronus does, say you are using a Cronus and this might be your radius. Instead of not using the Cronus, this could be your radius, right? So you're going to get a higher radius you know, with your aim assist, but it's also going to be a little bit faster, right? So bang, you know, whatever you're aiming at, sometimes it's going to move to it a lot quicker. So that's kind of what the Cronus does. Now, if you're looking at shapes, right? So we're talking shapes within the game of itself. Now that's always going to be, for me, it's going to be tall oval. A lot of people are like, you know, what are shapes when you're changing? This is mostly with your scripts, guys. If you're using a game pack, don't worry about it. As my teammates die, they're probably yelling at me. I don't care. We're just making a video. So, when it comes to shapes, guys, I go tall oval just because, you know, that's the shape of your target, right? Now, some people like helix or whatever. It's just a personal preference, basically. It's the shape of the aim assist 
you know radius that you're gonna get now if you have too high of a radius guys so say you turn your radius all the way up that is not always a good thing because what's gonna happen is it's gonna sometimes pull away from your target or take too long to get say this is your target right here right so say sometimes you have too big of a radius it's gonna you know be searching for that within that whole target it's gonna take too long to get there now of course yes you can turn the speed up a little bit but it's just going to feel a little clunky to you. Sometimes it's going to move too fast and feel too jittery. So that's sometimes you're just going to have to turn it down and adjust it accordingly, right? As my teammates are dead and probably watching me like, you know, what is going on? It's kind of funny. Um, so that's one thing, guys. Make sure you don't turn on too high of a radius. And this goes with any type of aim assist that you're using with the Cronus, of course. And then when it, you're also adjusting your speed is basically you want to have that radius pretty tight. Usually I go around a 20 uh, is the highest I would ever go in a radius. <clears throat> Normally I go at about a 14 for the radius. And now I'll turn my speed up. So what will happen is that way I get a tight radius circle, but that way it's still snappy enough. Within that circle, it's going to lock onto it. And that's what get, allows you to get that snappier, stickier aim. So don't turn your radius too high. You know, turn your steps up and also your fire strength because once you start firing, that's when that aim assist is going to kick in even more. So make sure you guys turn that up as well. That's kind of like for your long range, guys. So the better tracking that you have, the lower the radius you're going to need when it comes to your aim assist, right? So say I was aiming at this target and, you know, it's scanning and it's shaking too much. You're going to need to turn your radius down and your intensity down, all right? First of all, you never want it shaking too much. You, you might want that little shake you know if you want a little bit of a shake like that that's perfectly fine but if it's shaking all over the place you've got it set way too high for your intensity you know with the game pack or whatever script you're using okay now one thing you'll want to do when close range fights you want to turn your radius as low as you can feel comfortable getting it to and basically what i mean by that is say this is a target right here if you have too high of a radius it's going to just like with the tracking it's going to try to like pull on to that person but it's going to feel like you're you see that right there it's gonna pull way too far outside of the zone that you want to aim at so you want to turn that radius down a little bit turn the steps up even higher than you would when your primary so say you want your quick aim snappy aim so say this is a guy right so you want to be able to turn and then BAM so sometimes what you want to do with that ADS strength on uh, some of these scripts is turn it up really high so if you have any scripts so some of them out there have it the ads you know strengths or your uh fire strengths hip fire strengths all that stuff guys make sure you adjust that properly they're different okay you have hip fire for some of your aim assist and you'll have your ads which is your normal okay so in your ads sometimes you're going to get a different aim assist than if you were just you know aiming in so kind of keep in mind guys it's different but when it comes to close range fights you always want to have higher fire strength and higher steps than you would on your tracking and then always turn your radius down a little bit so that way you can find your target a little bit quicker but you're not you know aiming you know onto a different target because if these are two different guys right and you're in a close range fight and your radius on your close range your secondary is too high what's going to happen is you're going to be aiming at this one and then maybe it pulls over to this guy and that can be very very frustrating when trying to thirst to kill to get your teammates back you know different things like that so we're going to break it down again guys so make sure you know long range we're turning our radius down and now we're turning our steps up just a tad bit for your shapes guys i always go i would go tall oval uh, Helix is good. I wouldn't worry about the tracking or the senses guys. It's just not something I would adjust It's really really not worth it um, and then also When you're in a close range fight same thing applies kind of like with your tracking now You could turn your radius up a little bit and turn your steps down if you want to but you're gonna get a little bit slower I would say kind of related to reaction time right so like you're aiming here say it'll lock on to them but it's just not going to feel as snappy so that's why i kind of like you know very high speed or hip fire or fire strength when it comes to my secondary so make sure you guys do that i know a lot of people what you need to do is make sure you change your primary and secondary on these scripts a lot of people in the patreon that's why i'm making this video guys just try to break all this down and help you guys out um because what happens is a lot of times people will come to me on a Patreon and they'll, they'll say, you know, I just don't feel anything. And they have way too high of a radius. And then they also have secondary. Oh my gosh, I don't even have my audio on. But uh, anyway, just casually had no audio, you know, just clap that dude real quick. Uh, anyway, guys, so yeah, right there, that was pretty good aim assist, right? We didn't have it too shaky. It kind of went right onto it. And then as I turned, 
you know, I didn't have it, you know, to where it was too high of a radius to where it would take me out of the zone. I play on 100 FOV, so it might look a little different for me than it would be for you on console. But because that fire strength was a little bit higher, as soon as I turn and shot at that guy, it's going to pretty much lock on to him. So anytime you're turning and burning, it's going to try to find that target. But that pretty much covers it in this video, guys. I hope this video has helped somebody. If I'm being honest, we might have a chance to win this game, even though I haven't done anything all game. Um, so I might go finish this game. Guys, make sure you follow me on Twitch. Once we get to 100 followers, we'll be giving away that controller. Uh, and then also, guys, if you need help, join the Patreon. Make sure you check out NordVPN. Let's see if we can finish this game. There's only four other teams left. I only got two teammates in a quad game. Hey, wish me luck. Appreciate all love and support. Make sure you guys join the Discord. Tomorrow we have a new video on the Rebirth Rampage, guys. So make sure you guys check that out. Appreciate everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Let's go get this dub. Aight. Deuces. Hey.